dire wolf. There are no dire wolves south of the wall. Now there are five. There are five pups. One for each of the Stark children. The dire wolf is a sigil of your house. They were meant to have them. You'll train them yourselves. You'll feed them yourselves. And if they die, you'll bury them yourselves. And what is it? A run to the litter. That one's yours, Snow. <laughs> hey, everyone. As always, there are spoilers to come. If you're not caught up with the books of the show, now is your time to leave. In most of the south of Westeros, direwolves are regarded as a myth. Northerners acknowledge their validity, but have rarely seen them. The Night's Watch confirms sightings north of the Wall, and the Wildlings claim there are a great number of direwolves living in the haunted forest to the north of the Wall. By the reign of King Robert Baratheon, no direwolf has been sighted south of the Wall in over 200 years until the Starks find six newborns lying next to their dead mother. It is more than a coincidence that the Starks find six direwolves, one for each Stark child, on their walk back home after executing a traitor from the Night's Watch. The first known direwolf litter in hundreds of years just so happens to make their way into the Starks' backyard, which is also their house sigil. An adult direwolf is as large as a small horse and can rip a man's arm from its socket. Physically, they are not simply larger versions of wolves, but have slightly different proportions than their smaller cousins. Their heads are larger with a leaner, more pronounced muzzle, their legs longer in proportion to their body, and they have proportionately larger teeth that are often used to crush bones. Dire wolves are loyal to their masters and will attack anyone who threatens them. Arya's dire wolf Nymeria attacked Joffrey after he threatened her with a sword, while Bran's dire wolf Summer killed a would-be assassin in his bedroom. At the Battle of Oxcross during the War of the Five Kings, Rob Stark's dire wolf, Grey Wind, plays a vital part in Rob's victory, killing several Lannister sentries and panicking their horses. The dire wolves also have a magical bond with the Stark children. Each Stark is said to have the ability to warg into their personal dire wolf. Unfortunately, the dire wolf race is not nearly as popular as dragons, and as the seasons have continued, we've seen less and less action from them. As of currently, four of the six have died, leaving Jon's dire wolf Ghost and Arya's dire wolf Nymeria the only two eligible to have screen time. We see Ghost every so often hanging out with the new king in the north, Jon, but the last time Nymeria was seen was when she attacked Joffrey in the Riverlands and Arya ran her off so that Cersei wouldn't kill her. It is said in the books that Nymeria leads a huge wolf pack in the Riverlands, and if the showrunners decide to bring her back into the story, then the number of things she could do might be vast. Arya is in the Riverlands again. So is the Hound, the Brotherhood, and possibly others. An Arya and Nymeria reunion would be awesome to see. Each direwolf can feel another direwolf's presence, even if very far away. Since they are both currently in the Riverlands, Nymeria and Arya could reunite for the first time in years. If they decide to travel north, Nymeria might be able to sense ghosts, and that means that Arya will find Jon and Sansa again. Let me know in the comments if you think Nymeria will ever show up in the show, or if David and Dan will leave Nymeria out altogether. Last thing, thanks to all the new subscribers. We just hit 4,000, and when we hit 10,000, I will do a Game of Thrones related giveaway, so stay tuned for that. See you guys soon. Take care.